This video is going to be focusing on moderated mediation using the process macro in SPSS. If you haven't watched my previous videos on mediation and moderation, and you're still relatively new to moderation and mediation, I would recommend watching those videos as I go over a lot more of the miniature in a lot more detail than I do in this video. Right, so what is moderated mediation? So moderated mediation, mediated moderation, or conditional process analysis are names given to models with both mediated and moderated paths. We are typically interested in assessing the conditional or the moderated indirect, direct, and total effects or different values of the moderated variables, i.e. is the extent of mediation between the mediator and x and y varying according to our moderators. So the basic principles of both mediation and moderating testing transfer across to moderated mediation. So where we have a conditional, i.e. moderated indirect effect, it is natural to want to establish some sort of effect size and significance for the difference or variation of the indirect per unit or between the categories of the moderator. One, one often used effect size is the index of moderated mediation, which process automatically calculates because Hayes wrote process and Hayes also wrote the paper discussing the index of moderated mediation. It is calculated slightly differently for the categorical and continuous moderators, but if you want to know more about this, read this paper. So we're going to be focusing on model 7 in the, the list of models that are available in process, and that is essentially the moderated mediation model. Conceptually, it would look like this. So you have x and y as direct effect and also a mediation effect between x and y represented by m and w is the moderating effect which moderates the relationship that the mediator has between x and y statistically it looks like this so in our example today we're going to be testing two hypotheses so essentially the one model is going to be testing both hypotheses but they build on from each other we're going to be looking at a data set of around 1,000 employees and an employee survey. We're going to be looking at four main variables. So we're going to have our independent variable as good work practices. And we want to see if that influences employee frustration as in a negative effect. We think this relationship is going to be mediated by employee perceptions of well-being. And this mediation effect is going to be moderated by adherence or respect for authority. So going back to hypotheses, hypothesis one, does employee well-being mediate the relationship between perceptions of good work practices and employee frustrations? So example, that would just be the X, M, and Y part of the model. And then hypothesis two, does adherence to authority figures moderate this mediated relationship represented by W? So now that we got that done, let's look at the data in SPSS. Right, so here we have some missing data. So if there's any point of data missing for any participants, that entire row will be excluded just based on the listwise method of data we're going to be doing. So even though there are 2,372 participants, it ends up being that only the model includes only around half of those participants. Okay, so we're going to be making some assumptions about the data here. So let's assume that it is approximately normally distributed. There's little to no um, heteroscedicity effect, and there are no substantial outliers. So first, we're going to assume that we have process installed, and if not, check the other videos to see how to install it. Go to regression and process. Right. So we can see here that we have our four variables, employee frustrations, adherence to authority, good practice, and well-being. So they're all scale or continuous variables, so we're not going to be using any type of categorical variables as either moderators or covariates, i.e. control variables. If we go back to our model just to test where exactly we want to put these, we can have uh, over there. We want our independent variable to be good work practices, our outcome variable to be employee frustration levels, mediated by well-being and moderated by adherence to authority. Right, so 
double check that. So employee frustration is the outcome variable. Good practice is the independent variable. Well-being is the mediator variable. So you put it over here, mediator. And here into authority will moderate this mediation effect. So we're going to choose model seven in the list down here. We want to go to options, drag it over there. And we want to generate a code for visualizing interactions. Again, to, to the conditioning values, it doesn't really matter which one to use. 16th, 40, 50th, and 84th percentiles essentially represent minus one standard deviation, the mean, and plus one standard deviation, regardless of whether the data is normally or non parametrically distributed. So if it is normally distributed, it would represent one standard deviation, mean and plus one standard deviation. And if it wasn't normally distributed, it would get the 16th, 50th and 84th percentiles, which would represent mean plus minus one standard deviation as well. So just leave it as 16th, 50th and 84th percentiles. All right. So once we have that, we click continue and we click OK and it will generate some output will eventually be done eventually right there we go so on yeah we're looking at our output we just double check that what we've done is correct so we have a model 7 which is that model shown here this model and the statistical version is this model so we we correct in our model choice just just a little caveat that process version at three is um, different in terms of the models and what they represent to previous versions of process. So I would recommend just double checking if using any other versions that model seven does in fact represent moderated mediation and not something else. Right, so sorry, let's get back to our output. So we have our, in our independent variable of good practice, our outcome variable of employee frustrations. You can see that they cut off here because process only allows eight characters and I didn't format my variables in an eight character manner, but we still get the idea. Mediation would be well-being and moderation would be adherence to authority. So in standard multiple regression model fits and coefficient tables for predicting the first mediator come first. So this is essentially a regression table with well-being as the outcome variable and then looking at our independent variable and our moderated variable and looking at there's an interaction effect and as you can see the interaction effect is statistically significant over the overall model summary is significant he is far below the 0 0.05 and there's an r squared value of 0.4 which is relatively high now what this little model summary is telling us is essentially this part of the model here. Let me minimize this so it's easy to move around. It's essentially saying, does the independent variable predict the mediated variable? And is this relationship moderated by moderated variable? And as you can see, the interaction one represented over here as product terms is good practice independent variable times adherence to authority. We can see that interaction is statistically significant. Now, what process allows us to do quite nicely is to generate this visual visualization of that interaction effect. So double click on your SPSS output, highlight and copy from data to the end of the last variable listed, get a new syntax, Highlight this all. If I can get that last highlight, that would be great. Or just click push control A and run it. Right, so now we have a graph with well being on our y axis, good practice on our x axis, and the different levels. So the 16th, 50th, and 84th percentile scores of adherence to authority. This is our conditional effect, our moderation effect, based on different levels of the moderator. So double clicking on our graph just to help us see exactly how the interaction effect occurs. We're going to go to elements and click interpolation line. Close it. 
So in our graph, we can see that as good practice increases from low to higher, based on the perceptions of employees, well-being also increases. However, looking at the condition of, or the moderation effect of adherence or and respect for authority figures, we can see that the slope of the relationship between good practice and employee well-being is different. For instance, when employees have a lot of deference and respect for authority, the effects of good practice in an organization or the perception of these good practices increases to a lesser extent than when employees have either an average or less than average respect and deference for authority figures. So now we can be sure that a moderation effect does exist. So the next point is to establish the mediation effect. This is a simple regression model where employee frustration levels are our outcome variable and our independent variable good work practices and our mediated variable well-being are tested for associations and here we can see that overall the model is significant so both good practice and well-being are significant predictors of employee frustrations you can also see that there's a significant direct effect on x and y so by itself good practices do reduce employee frustrations however we can also see that there's a significant indirect effect based on good practices to well-being and employee frustrations. Yeah. See that there's, again, our different levels of adherence, our conditional value, and this, because the effect is negative and the upper confidence interval doesn't go into the positive, we know that it is significant, there's significant indirect effect, which is moderated by adherence to authority figures at each level, so 16th, 50th and 85th percentile. Additionally, our index of moderated mediation is significant because it's positive and the lower limit confidence for does not go below zero. We know that there is a significant moderated mediation effect. And that's all for this video. If you found it useful, please give the video a like and if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be just great.